Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, I've made, uh, it was similar to the other one, I've made uh, another church. That's not going to be the whole theme of, of the channel. That just happens to be what I'm trying to, uh, what I'm trying to get done and get out of the way first. So I've made uh, a couple of changes to the previous church builder made. Um, a couple, couple of things I wanted to, to improve and a couple of things I wanted to make better. Anyway, let's have a look at the video. So this is where it is. It's in the Cranberry Bog along this main road. Um, there was a couple of reasons why I chose this spot just here. Uh, one of those reasons is because uh, there is a, a junk node here so you can put down a, a junk collector uh, which is pretty handy for your springs and your screws and your plastic etc. But also because Graham the super mutant trader walks past here. Not very often I admit. Anyway here's the church. we go. So that's the outside. I was trying to draw people's attention to it. There is a couple of defence barricades because you do get attacks now and again. Here we are. So it was a church as you can see from all the pews that have been kind of uh, pushed over to the side and, and all, all, all over the place. And there's uh, a workshop at the back. There's this bit here for, for storage. It's also a music area as well. Now, I like to think some of these musical instruments were actually left over from it being a church. And here you are, here's all my workbenches. So everything I could need, really, in terms of work workbenches, anyway. And you can see there the windows at the top, which I, I'm, I was happy with the way the light comes in, especially from up the top there. As always, there's things I'd like to improve, but... Yeah, it's it's more what I was envisioning, envisioning, envisaging when I was making the other one. Now I've also got my own little area here. So this is actually my area. Well, I know the whole thing is my camp, but I like to think these are more like my living quarters. Magazine rack there. Some plants, nice desk and chair poster there. And another nice chair as well. Or a couch. My cooking stove is in here. This is more like my living area. The other, the main part of the church is more like a, a workshop really. Nice bed. And uh, I picked these up from the store ages ago. These, these lights here. I actually quite like them. They can blink or twinkle or or just stay on. There's different effects that they can give. And in here is my bathroom. Which of course has a shower. My character at the moment is dressed uh, like an engineer. Because I've, I've been creating and crafting a lot of stuff so I like, like to think that she's, uh, she, she, she's an engineer or, or some kind of a, a builder at the moment. It's more defence barricades. Now this this shack here was already there. That 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 was a, that's just a uh, an existing building. But I put the Brahmin pen in there to protect it. You've always got to have some water purifiers. So I've got those out the back here. On the roof is one of the the big fusion generators which powers everything. It gives more than enough power for what I need. Over to there, which powers the uh, junk extractor and my missile launcher as well. So my missile turret. I've got a little crop area here, out the back, because again, you do need food and water, and this is where I get my food. But usually I find I'm, I'm quite over encumbered with food and I end up dumping loads. Ooh, I'll take all of that. Not bad. Uh, this tiny little shack here, really, it, it was like a, a guest quarters. But I ended up changing that, and it's now just uh, an empty shack with uh, the, the turret on top. Partly to give that a, a advantage of being high up, so it can't easily be, be melee hit. But, uh, but yeah, another defence post on this side. Because I do get attacked by the odd super mutant, not often, but the odd one here and there, over that side. So if I put it over here... 
There we go. Get rid of that bush as well. Oh, I see the super mutant, super mutants coming in from over there. There's also a nearby workshop over there as well, which is pretty useful for taking it and getting your plans. That Fisher site is the only real issue around here. Um, well, having said that, I did find one that was a little bit nearer, unfortunately, recently. So I do get the odd Scorch Beast attack. But Scorch Beasts, they're, they're not that bad. They're annoying, but they're not that bad. You, you can take them out, or you can just um, come out of the game and go back in again, and you'll reload into a different server. You can just do that. So you can see the uh, fusion generator there up on the roof. Now I've got that flat roof there. I've debated this quite a lot about changing that and, and having a sloped roof on that bit there as well as as well as, as, as the slope roof you can see there. Um, I probably will end up changing it but it, I, I did that for a couple of reasons. Partly was budget. It, it costs less budget just to have t the two flat ones than ones that come up and, and I then have to put a piece of wall in as well. I'm glad the piece at the top of, of the church came out how I wanted as well because that, that was a bit awkward to trick the game into letting me put all of the walls in. There were a couple of pieces it didn't like and it didn't want to let me put in but in the end it let me. And this telegraph pole as well just next to my camp it, it does make it look like I've got either electricity or phone lines coming in which is good. So yeah uh, this long road there that's where Graham walks along that super mutant trader. And what is quite nice is seeing as we can't have radios in our uh, camps anymore, or for the moment anyway, there's that radio you can hear in the background. You can hear it there. That is actually underground. It's in a little tunnel underneath my camp, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I can still hear the radio from one side of my camp. From one side of it, anyway. There we go. So I should have put the pastor outfit on to take these pictures as well. Never mind. And yeah, it, it's unlocked. The only thing that's locked is the back entrance into my, my bedroom and also into the bathroom as well, just in case anyone was going to be mean and destroy the decontamination tower. Uh, decontamination shower because it costs flux to repair anyway waving goodbye thanks for watching I promise the next one's not another church <laughs> <laughs>